please like and subscribe to our channel. Hi, this is Adam with um, AG4VR, and um, today I'm going to be showing you so how to do something. I, I literally just learned how to do this, and um, it's something for the Foos mod list um, that if you're, um, um, especially if you're running, um, if you're running Skyrim VR using Steam VR and um with the foos mod list um this this might be something that you uh, uh I, I say might I, I i in that case i would definitely do this it's really cool it's really cool um basically if you do this you will be able to start your foos mod list and get into skyrim vr um uh, without having to go through mod organizer at all um Mod, mod organizer's running, but um, you don't have to open up mod organizer and hit play. You can um, you can actually you can start it up from within um, the the, uh, the the Steam GUI that's on your desktop, or you can be in Skyrim VR and actually start it from there. It's really cool. Um, had no idea until today that this could be done and it's actually a very easy process and I'm going to take you through it. Um, I can't take all the credit for this though. Um, I, I, um, uh, uh, one of my, um, um, one of the fa fellow members of management at the uh, Foos Discord, um, DeWan, uh, he is, uh, he, he's uh, way more knowledgeable with this, uh, with this kind of stuff than I am. Um, I like to think I know some stuff, but, uh, this guy, I, I, I know that if I don't know something more than likely he does, um, he's helped me out tremendously and many other people there. And I know I appreciate him and I, I'm, I, I'm sure they do. I can't speak for them, but I'm, I'm sure they do too. Um, but I just wanted to give him credit for this. I, I really can't take credit for inventing this, uh, or <laughs> getting this together. I'm going purely off of, uh, uh, off of his, uh, instructions. But, uh, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, the, uh, if, if you've watched one, um, uh, if you watch my Foos install video, um, you probably know that I recommended putting a, um, a desktop shortcut because it just makes your life easier um, and from there you know you can drop it down to your taskbar or whatever you want to wherever you want to put it but um, for our purposes today I mainly just want you to get mod organizer opened up and I want you okay so you can see uh, um, for our purposes today, I'm not running open composite because um, running open composite just kind of makes like half of everything work. Um, and you really don't get the full benefits of this unless you're running like nothing but Steam VR. And I'm not talking about Steam Link. Steam Link and Steam VR are two different things. Um, you can run Steam VR with any of the connection methods for the uh, for the Quest or I guess the Pico, um, but um, but uh, uh, Steam Link is a connection method that only uses Steam VR. Um, so you can technically use Open Composite with Steam Link, but um, the the testing I've seen so far shows no performance benefit from doing that. Um, so it's really up to you as to whether you, uh, if you think you get some kind of benefit from running, running open composite, you're welcome to do it. Um, me personally, I would probably recommend against it because you lose the benefit of the steam VR keyboard, which you need to name your character when you first, um, start a save. And, um, you also lose the benefit of the, um, the overlays and things like that. Um, you also don't, you, even though, uh, from what we've seen, you get achievements while you're playing. 
Um, if you run open, open composite, you don't actually see the achievements as they happen. Um, so uh, you lose that functionality too. Um, yeah, so um, so anyway, um, yeah, um, we're going to, for the purposes of this video, we're going to run without open composite turn on. And uh, the first thing I want you to do is make sure it says play foos do not press unlock um foos 4 should say something similar um but on foos 5 this is uh this is beta 21 rc3 um make sure it says that and don't hit run we normally hit run when we go to play don't hit run we're gonna go down a shortcut this is a little button that you've probably paid no attention to because you didn't know what it was well now we know what it no now we know what it is this is what's going to help us make this magic happen that we're getting ready to do. Um, so click shortcut and you're going to have three options drop down below it. This basically tells, you're telling Mod Organizer where to drop the shortcut at. So you can go uh, toolbar and menu, which I'm guessing is, uh, you know, at the bottom. Um, desktop or on the start menu somewhere. Um, for uh for this we're going to do the desktop this to, to me i think that's going to be the easiest because we're going to have to interact with that um shortcut some so just click that and then now we're done with mod organizer um so we go ahead and close it all right so find find your shortcut right here play foos i'm going to drag it out here to the middle just so um you know it's easy to get to and now next step is to open steam up go up to games add a non-steam game to the library and i know what you're thinking uh, skyrim vr is a steam game why are we adding that as a non-steam game well technically that's right but we're not adding skyrim vr to steam we're adding mod organizer 2 to steam which is a non-steam game so yeah this the, that's that's how this works so click that it's going to bring up a list we're not going to bother with this just click browse and click your desktop and mine was already there because i've already been messing around with this and find your shortcut you made it's right there click open add selected programs all right and now if you scroll down to under uncategorized play foos there it is all right so if you're like me um i've got a uh i've got a category for vr games and um also uh, this is definitely in the favorites too so i'm gonna hit add to vr and then i'm going to Add it to my favorites. All right, so now it's up here in my favorites. Um, but uh, it looks like we're done, but we're not. We got we got a, a few more steps to do. Um, they're short, so just be patient. We're gonna be done with this in just a minute. All right, so you need to go back to your shortcut, right click on it, hit properties, and you'll see. Um, this pops up if it doesn't make sure you're on the shortcut tab that's where we need to be at um, right here where it says target you can see that this is already highlighted that's perfect because that's what we need um, we need to copy everything that's in that field so do a control C or you can do copy but I did control C so that does the same thing um, and then hit cancel there because we got we got what we need copied to the clipboard. Now go back to Steam, right click on Play Foos, and go down to Properties. Now Launch Options. I want you to hit Control V, or you can hit Paste. All right, and so this is this is what's going to be in there but we got to add something to it. So go to the end. Easiest way to do that is use your home and end keys, 
home takes you to the beginning, end takes you to the end. Um, and right after those that quotation mark, hit space, percent sign, command, and percent sign. Click the X. Okay. What you just did there was you put the shortcut in there, and then you took basically I th I might be getting the uh, I may not have this quite right, but I'm pretty sure when you put the percent sign command percent sign that tells St Steam that that's something it needs to execute. Um, otherwise, it won't it won't do anything. Um, I think it'll just open up Mod Organizer. Um, and it won't go any further than that. So, um, when you put that shortcut in there and you put, com uh, the commanding, uh, the, um, um, enclosed with, uh, per percent signs, um, it'll do this. Okay. You see mod organizer is running and check this out. Skyrim VR window opened and Steam VR crashed because I don't have anything. I don't have um, the, the headset on with virtual desktop or any app actually connecting to it. So it, it got mad and we're just going to close Steam VR and that'll make Mod Organizer happy and go away. Um, yeah, so that just doing that proves that it worked. Um, so, um, so we're all set up to run Foos from Steam now. So, um, now we should be able to go into Steam VR, open, actually go into a Steam VR environment and open up the menu and hit play Foos from there and, um, actually get it started. So that's what we're going to do next. So, um, um. Yeah, like I said, very cool. And as you can see, the process isn't bad. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, here I am um, in SteamVR, and um, this is my, right now, my favorite... Um, Steam VR environment. If uh, you're interested in it, it's a Rec All VHS store, and uh, it's fun. You can pick up movies and check them out, and you know all that fun stuff. Anyway, um, let's get to reason why we're here. We're gonna start up. We're gonna start our game up. Uh, Actually, this is what it's going to look like. You press the menu button um, to get into the Steam VR menu. Um, so now we got Play Foos. Do not press unlock. First start takes a while. So we're going to click that. Hit play. And I wish uh, get a little graphic in there that looks a little better. There's probably a way to do that. I just hadn't figured it out yet. You see Mod Organizer is sitting there running. It's doing what it's supposed to do. All right. All right. This is where I'm supposed to be. Um, this is the tower that I um, I exited from, uh, basically from Blackreach to. Um, to, I had to get an Elder Scroll as part of the main quest. Um, so this is where I left off um, on my Foos 5 Beta 21 playthrough. And um, everything looks good. So uh, yeah, uh, mission mission is a success. Um, yeah, give this give this a try if, uh, um, if this might help you out. Um, hope it does. And uh, um, please uh, like, or, like and or subscribe. Um, appreciate any of that if you can and um i hope you're well wherever you are and uh we'll see you next time bye